Hi, I'm Paul with The Verge, and I'm here with Husky. Yeah, man, I'm H.D. Husky Husky, what's going on? And uh, Husky does lay-down interviews. Yes, and very, I've been, very intimate They're intimate lay down interviews. in your hotel room. Yeah, we, we get in bed. Do you hold the, hands sometimes? A lot of times, yeah. I would That's say good. more times That's than good. not, there's a That's little a bit of That's a good journalistic technique. Yeah, man. Uh, so I wanted to raise it up a notch. We're going to go to an escalator. Can you explain uh, your job? What, what do you do? Um, basically, I mean, I, I do shout casting for StarCraft. That's mm. kind of kind of my thing, and uh, my Which main is just announcing games on YouTube. Yeah, basically. So I mean, if you watch whatever sport you watch, there's almost always an announcer. I'm trying mm. to imagine a sport without an announcer, and it sounds kind of boring. Yeah. I don't know if there is one, but um, it's basically like if you were to watch a basketball game. Or the example I like is if you're really into American football. It, just imagine it as if you're watching the football game from the sky, and you could see what everyone was doing the entire time. Um, I'm the guy who's announcing kind of what's going on and all of that. It looks like one mule will go down. The little one trying to set up a bunker. He will get it. There is only one Marine over here. Unfortunately, they are attacking the Evo Chamber. I don't think the little one should be doing this because now all these are going to be inside the base, especially once the Evo Chamber goes down. Indeed, it does. Those SCVs have taken out both the mules, and now it's just going to be an SCV versus Zergling battle here as these larva-injected Zerglings are just rampaging through the little one's base. So game one looks like it's going to be an extremely short game. Didn't even have time to talk about both the players, and look at that, the little one is going to GG. So can you explain in one line for each race what the StarCraft races are and what that means? Yeah, there's You can the, use more than one line. Okay, I'm gonna try it with one line anyway. There's the Protoss, Terran, and Zerg, so there's three races that you can play. And anyone familiar with RTS games at all, you basically build up bases and kill each other. So everyone does that. Um, but the Protoss are kind of futuristic, and all their units cost a lot of money, and they're all fancy aliens, basically. The Zerg are more uh, primalistic. They're kind of like bugs. Or if you've ever seen Starship Troopers, they're the yeah. they're the bugs. Okay. They're basically just like that. And uh, then the Terran are basically they're the humans, but they uh, they they're kind of more they're like if if Texas was to go into space. That's okay. kind of how the Terrans. So they're pretty me. rugged. Yeah, they're kind of like the uh, the Marines from Aliens, okay. the second movie. If you've ever seen that, that's what they remind me most of. So you play Protoss. Yes. I, I'm not too high ranked, so when you're watching okay. all the pro gamers and everything, they are they, they put me to shame, man. They make me yeah. look like a total noob. So uh, I I just try and play Protoss as best I can. I've been playing it since I was 11 years old, so oh. there there's no switching now. Once once you're Protoss, <laughs> you never go back. So it's not what what do you like about Protoss? Um, I kind of like how since their units cost a lot, each unit itself is really powerful. Okay. So you don't have as much stuff, but they are all really, really powerful. So it's about kind of like babysitting a few important units okay. rather than the Zerg, for example, they have a bunch of stuff just running everywhere and that just hurts my simple brain. So I like keeping my big ball of units that are really good, right. but very costly. And it was kind of like that in StarCraft 1. And I don't know, I just always kind of like that, that play style. How is this tournament going? Uh, Nanawa won the Invitational right. Championships, which has seemed a pretty yeah, great. Yeah, it's actually insane if you look at um, on paper, basically, he beat the two players who had won the GSL three times each. And he and, plays Protoss. Yeah, he plays Protoss. And so for someone to play Protoss and beat those GSL champions, it's the only two players that he beat um, to win the GSL three times, which is actually pretty insane. Um, the GSL is like the biggest, most competitive tournament out right. there. It's held in Korea. And uh, for him to win, so not being a Korean, as Protoss, it was like hardly anyone would ever predict right. that to happen. So for him, um, he's been training. Um, he has a lot of Korean people that he trains with and all that. It is uh, definitely paying off. So mad props to him. That was really great. It just confirms what I always thought, but what I didn't, what I couldn't be sure of, that I am able to beat the best players. So it's good for my mentality. So you cast games. How do you make, is that, is that your full-time job? Um, yeah, it's been what I've, I've been doing full-time for about three years now. And uh, for about half of that, I wasn't making a single penny. Like, I wasn't doing any events. I wasn't um, even taking donations or anything like that from fans. And uh, I've always had super supportive parents. So mm. anytime if there's any trouble at all, they're just always like, well, just move back in with us, and you can keep doing what you're doing. Um, and that was a huge relief, because when I was doing it in college and all that, it kind of affects your grades when you don't go to class, <laughs> is what I've learned. So uh, yeah, so thankfully, they were actually extremely supportive. I think most parents would have been like, wait, you're playing video games instead of, you know, getting A's in college? What, right. What's happened to my son? But um, no, it actually worked out. They've been super supportive. And um, I'm just able to do it full time. I travel around a lot to all the MLGs. Hey, Mr. Bitter, I couldn't, I couldn't help notice that you're drinking that refreshing Nas over there. Yeah. Did you know that under the tab, 
There's a code where you can redeem the points to get exclusive MLG gear. Really? Yeah. You can get hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and more. You just have to go to drinknaz.com and there's going to be a lot more info there. There's you know the, what? There's the code. That looks that looks so refreshing. I, I think I'm going to buy one. Oh, here. Thanks. Oh, look. It's already open. Mm. Outstanding. I am ready to be a better gamer now. All right, so now that my soul is now the devil's, uh, we have actually did, a pretty awesome Did you awesome just call match. an emoji sponsor the devil? No. No, I'm, cause, I'm calling how horrible of an actor and how shamelessly I can plug something for hours. For hours, man. Have you seen my Xperia play phone? <laughs> <laughs> now, that's basically what I do, and then my YouTube channel is kind of my focus, where I have, it's like 500, I don't know exactly how many, it's, it's about 600,000 followers. And uh, so those are people who are tuning in to, to watch StarCraft. Um, they like it kind of as a sport. It basically is a sport. And um, the, it's kind of taking over bars everywhere. There's kind of bar crafts going on. Yeah, I We're, attended a bar craft. It was so much fun. Awesome, yeah. So it's kind of like the people, the stories I love are like when the, when the hockey bros come in or, or rugby or something and they're going to their bar to watch the games and there's all these nerds watching StarCraft <laughs> and they're like, what is this? So that's, uh, that's a really good sign and that's, yeah. that's really healthy for, um, for StarCraft. Yeah, so it's just basically all StarCraft full-time. It, it's the best best job ever. I'm telling you, man, you can make anything interesting. So if there's, if there's something you like, you should pursue that and just find a way to make it interesting and people will watch. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much as well. MLG. I will, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Husky.